A quick word about MIDI controllers. Because there are thousands of different types of MIDI controllers that can be used between keyboards, pads, uh, electronic drums, there are then a number of issues that might take place when connecting your MIDI device. Um, for the most part, most of them are class compliant, which means that when their USB is attached to an Apple computer, the digital audio workstation, in this case Pro Tools, will automatically recognize the MIDI controller. But at times, when we're running multiple uh, pieces of software like Pro Tools and maybe Logic or Ableton Live, it is actually nice to be able to activate and deactivate which ones of those pieces of software are actually receiving signals from the controller. So there is a panel that's applied and available in Pro Tools that allows us to activate or deactivate the MIDI input. If we go to Setup MIDI, you'll notice there's something called Input Devices. If you click it, you'll see a whole listing of MIDI options. Now, on my system, I have a bunch of different MIDI options that are available to me. Some of them are just for screen control, uh, where some of these are specific to devices that are connected to my computer system. In this instance, the only one that's actually important and valuable at the moment for keyboard control is the USB KeyStation 88. These other ones handle touchscreen options and uh, iPad remote options. So as long as your device is selected and connected there, then your MIDI should be received. But you'll notice in the step that we talked about prior, if you do not create an instrument track or a MIDI track, there will be nothing for the MIDI to actually connect to inside of Pro Tools. So it is required that you have either a MIDI or instrument track that you then set the input to all or the specific device and then record enable it in order to hear sound. And once you've done that, we have the perfect setup and we're ready to go.